Last week, temperatures were in the 70s. So I repotted all my bonsai and uh, was in spring mode. I've been working in the yard quite a bit. And then we had a cold snap. Temperatures in the 20s for a couple of nights and a little bit of snow. And I've thought about buying a garden cart like this for many years. Um, and normally I research these sort of things extensively, but there was cold weather coming and I wanted a way to transport my bonsai off the patio into the garage where I could easily move them out into the sun during the day when it warmed up and then wheel them back into the garage where they're stay at about 50 degrees during the night instead of being down in the 20s. And so uh, I just ran out to Home Depot and bought this. And I have to say, I'm very, very impressed with it. Uh, I've only used it once or twice now. Um, I also hauled some uh, landscaping materials with it before I loaded it up with the bonsai. And this thing far exceeds my expectations. And so please excuse the mess. This is uh, my little catch-all area behind the shed. Nobody sees this but me, so I don't keep it all that neat. Um, well, you may be wondering if I already have a cart that goes behind my lawnmower, the red cart you see in the background, and I already have a wheelbarrow, why would I want a yard cart? Well, because it does some things neither of the other two do very well. Now, the wheelbarrow is very handy. I use it for mixing soil in and, um, and carrying things I want to dump out, and it works great for that. But it doesn't always work great for things like, well, transporting those bonsai trees or uh, transporting other live plants. Uh, I've put plants from the nursery in the wheelbarrow to transport them before, but they tend to slide forward towards the front of the wheelbarrow and either tip over or the branches hit up against the sides of the wheelbarrow and may break. And so the little green yard cart you see here, the gorilla cart, um, I can transport live plants very easily. Um, obviously, I can't mix soil in it like I can the wheelbarrow, so you see that they complement one another rather than one replacing the other. And of course, the heavy-duty cart I've got back there in the background, I use that when I cut down trees and I'm hauling logs to the street to be hauled away. And so the gorilla cart is no substitute for that, but it fits a niche in between where I don't need something really heavy-duty, but I want to transport something I'd prefer not to carry. Now, here's one area where this gorilla cart really excels. Being able to remove the sides and have a flat carrying platform is really helpful for larger plants like this Japanese maple. Now, the, the Gorilla Cart pulls very easily on a hard surface like this patio. You can really just pull it along with just a couple of fingers. Uh, obviously, when you roll across the yard, it's a bit more resistance. But the uh, pneumatic tires really do a good job of smoothing everything out. And so when you transport it, it doesn't rattle or bang around a lot and stuff doesn't get jostled too much. Now this pot here is probably 40, 50 pounds, the pot, the soil, everything. And I really don't like carrying it all the way across the yard from the garage where I've had it uh, since we had these really cold days. But uh, this is the best way I've ever found to transport it is on this gorilla cart. And not having the sides on the cart, I don't have to reach down in and lift up. I can come all the way around the sides of the pot like that and lift it very easily. And so moving it from the cart to its resting place is very simple and stress-free. Okay, so here's some stats on the Gorilla Cart. It has an 800-pound capacity. With the sides on, it has a capacity of 4 cubic feet. The bed size is 21 inches by 40 inches. It's made out of steel. It has four 10-inch pneumatic tires, which check the inflation on yours when you get them. Mine were inflated to about seven or eight pounds. Uh, the maximum inflation on the tires is 30 pounds. I just went ahead and aired them all up to about 28 pounds. Now, all the way to the top of the handle, when the handle's in the most upright position, it's 38 inches. Uh, the whole cart is 22.75 inches wide, so it should roll through a standard doorway. It's about 46.75 inches end to end. It's easiest to put on the front and back parts first. The front has this little guard here that protects the handle from rubbing on the metal. So I'll go ahead and put that one on first. You insert the tabs into the slots in the frame, stand it up and the handle will sort of hold that one in place. 
Now I'll put it on the rear and stand it up. Now you have to be careful here because if you bump this, this will fall off. Now once you get the sides installed, then there's no danger of anything falling off. And the sides are interchangeable. There's no difference between the left or right side. And there is no front or back on these that I can discern. And so, and I'll show you a close up here in a second of how these latches work. But it's, I take the side, insert the tabs into the slots, lift it up, swivel this up till it goes through the slot there, and push it down. Now the side's latched into place. Couldn't be easier. And once it's attached, it's good and snug. It's not going anyplace. Like I say, I'm really impressed with the construction on this. Now I'm going to turn it over on its side here and talk a little bit more about the assembly. Now, it's possible to assemble the entire cart with only a crescent wrench, or you could even use a pair of slip joint pliers. A crescent wrench would definitely be my choice. You are going to need a fairly large crescent wrench though. This one bolt here that holds the front axle on is about 15 16 or about 24 or 25 millimeter in size. It's pretty large. A small crescent wrench, uh, say a six inch standard crescent wrench is just not gonna be big enough. So make sure you have a large crescent wrench or a pair of slip joint pliers. And this bolt I would tighten up just enough to get the wobble out of this front arm, I wouldn't tighten it up too much since that's the pivot point. Okay, there's three half inch bolts or about, um, I believe it's 13 millimeter here and here that attach this arm to the pivot arm. And there's a third one right here that attaches the handle to this arm. So there's those three bolts there. And then there's two bolts here in the back they're about three quarters of an inch. I would say they're about 22 millimeter, give or take, um, back here that attach the rear axle. And that's it. Um, the wheels attach with the same clevis pin they use on the handle. And I was impressed that they have sealed ball bearings in the wheels. So you just drop the wheel in place, put a washer on, and put the little clevis pin in its place behind it, and that holds it on. If you ever need to get the wheel off for some reason, it's very simple to do. And like I said, I was impressed that they have ball bearings, actually two, on each of the wheels. So here's the underside, and we're looking at that yellow um, cap, cover, washer, I'm not quite sure what to call it. This piece right here. Like I say in the instructions, they don't really show which way that should go, but it just makes sense. You can see how it's sort of cup-shaped it just makes sense that this go downward so it won't hold water. If you install this in the other direction, uh, the cart will steer just fine, but that's going to hold water in it and make things rust. So I think it should go this way. And here again, this is that pivot washer. And you can see how I've got it turned where it faces downwardly. So I hope you found that helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe to the channel. I would really appreciate it. Uh, like I say, most things I research extensively. In this case, this was sort of an impulse buy. I needed a cart in a hurry. This is what they had in stock. I bought it, and I wished I'd bought this years ago. I can see that I'm going to put it to a lot of use, and it's really going to make my life a lot easier. So if you've been on the fence on whether or not you need a cart like this, you probably do need one. Go ahead and pick one up. I don't think you'll be disappointed.